I guess I could take yeah. this off now. We're at Tupelo Honey in Franklin, Tennessee. <laughs> Artisan down home cooking. Let's do it. Yeah. Welcome to Nashville Eats Social Distancing Edition. We're out here on this beautiful patio in Franklin, Tennessee. And today we're gonna to be taking you around Nashville and checking out some of my favorite restaurants that offer responsible seating during a pandemic. Hi, how are we doing? We're doing great, how are you doing? Good. What can I get y'all started off with to drink? I would love a coffee and a water. Do you have espresso? No, okay, a coffee and a water, sounds great, thank you. Uh, I've eaten here before, but never for brunch, and you know I love me some brunch. Let's do it. I'm excited. <laughs> All right, Lily, why don't we get those uh, sweet potato pancakes going? and the chicken and biscuits, and then we'll, we're gonna order several other things. How sweet are we talking? I mean, if we're gonna do it, let's do it. Let's go diabetes. Let's go bigger, yeah. Ross Keys, everybody. Right? Hello. Here for your chiropractic needs, or just to look at. We're gonna have some maple syrup. Yeah, we are. <laughs> We've got this thing where I bring him syrups from all over the world, so I've got him a bourbon barrel syrup at the house, and then I forgot to bring it. Don't worry, I forgot your gift at home, too. You're my gift. <laughs> yeah. Kill Billy Bone down deep inside. No matter where you're from, you just can't hide. And when the band starts banging and the fiddle songs, you can't help but holler in. When you see them pretty little country queens, man, you gotta admit that it's in them jeans. Ain't nothing wrong, just getting on. You're here, Billy Bone, ba bone, ba bone, bone. Seems excessive to add syrup on top of all of that. Right. I mean, I'm going to do it. Yeah. I don't know how they feel if I just pulled out my own bourbon barrel syrup. <laughs> right. Hey, let us know how warm? the quality of that I mean, syrup. It's probably I'm trying so hard to say syrup correctly. Do you need a straw or is it? Is that syrp. It's syrp. It's I pronounce it S-U-R-P. That's just how it is. Syrup. Syrup. I mean, I per pronounce with extra, but, uh, extra, but, uh, uh, what's the, what's the word? Uh, uh, abadee, abadee, abadee. Syllable. That's there it is. <laughs> <laughs> I pronounce it with a syrup. You go syrup. Syrup. And I guess it's supposed to be syrup. Is that right? It's whatever you yeah, want. Yeah, you say syrup. Come on, you're the expert. Syrup. 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 See, there we go. Syrup. syrup. That's smooth. I like that. It's not as heavy as I thought. Would you like us to thicken it up for you? No. It's pleasant. <laughs> Mmm, really good. It really is. It's fantastic. This is so juicy and tender. What? Juicy and <laughs> This is really weird. There's We're a guy with you. a camera. Better Let's get all on take there. the mowers by Tupelo Honey. My brain doesn't function before noon. It's all that extra air on your neck. <laughs> It's probably gonna burn. Right. It hadn't seen the sun in years. I remember when I had my mullet. <laughs> Please find the photo of the mullet. I'm having trouble finding my. Oh, found it. Oh, good. I grew a much better mustache. They should now. use that for a PSA so, on yeah. online predators. <laughs> yes. Wow. That's terrifying, bro. That yeah. is to catch. I grow a better mustache now. Will you call my phone real quick so I can show them what happens when you call? <laughs> Lloyd Christmas. Oh, that's great. <laughs> fit to be tied, pickled, and fried. It's a Benedict of sorts. We have fried pickles, poached eggs, hollandaise sauce, and I think underneath I see some fried green tomatoes, and then topped with bacon crumbles. Sweet Jesus. Can I get a look under your egg flap? I'm <laughs> excited. <laughs> <laughs> now from a fitness perspective, yes. what would you recommend to your clients? to say like if you're gonna pick one meal you know pancakes right <laughs> that's what i was thinking yep. that's true yeah it's sweet potato so it's automatically healthy right yep. that and then there's bananas right and that's fruit so. yeah what about you what was your favorite oh the pancakes for sure yeah Ooh, it was good oh and now we nap well we just stuffed our faces 
at Tupelo Honey. And pretty soon we're going to go and get my all-time favorite burger. But first, we gotta prep dinner. Welcome to my kitchen. We're gonna be making root beer pulled pork. And we're gonna do it the lazy man's way. So we've got pork loin, smoked paprika, pre-chopped onions, root beer, and barbecue sauce. And that's all there is to it. I told you this is the lazy man's way of cooking, but this is my all-time favorite easy dish to make. Yes, we'll cross that bridge when it comes. I got mini cans just because my wife loves tiny things. We'll cross that bridge when it comes. But darling. So there you have it. Onions, pork, smoked paprika, root beer. And that's it. We cover it. Turn it on low. Let's let it cook while we go eat other food. When he says my wife likes tiny things. You know, Midnight confessions. Whiskey therapy sessions. Buying drinks to buy some time beneath the stained glass neon lights while the bartender listens. As long as you're tipping. It's in the Gulch of Nashville, Tennessee, Detroit-style pizza, and an unbelievable, mind-blowing burger. Come along. Perfect. Oh, thank you, sir. Yourself? Cheers. Thank you. I don't know where I'm at. Tater, everybody. It's tater. I don't know if you can tell with the mask on. Oh yeah. I don't know why I'm even looking because I know exactly what we're gonna order. We're here with Samantha, the director of marketing for Emmy Square. Now, there was a there was a few weeks there where I was coming here. I was gonna say talk a little louder. <laughs> uh, lawnmower guys, follow us here. Yeah, here you go. <laughs> yeah. So Emmy Square is spreading like wildfire, and I understand why. We already have two locations in Nashville. Surprisingly, what people may not realize is that this is the best burger in the world. My words. Well, should we order some food, fellas? Yes. I think we should order food. We're definitely going to start out with Zia fries. That's a must. You didn't do brunch with us, so you're probably like hungry like a normal human. I'm, I'm normal. Human hungry right now. <laughs> All right. So. Let's do two Le Big Mats then as well. Yeah. One for him. Jimmy, you want your own Le Big Mat? <laughs> it's a place to heal and a place to hurt After a long week of hell, it's like Sunday church You'll hear dirty jokes and the gospel truth The jukebox choir singing in the corner booth We're here every week and bring your burdens, bring your pain Everybody's welcome at the church Everybody's welcome at the church of the Dive Bar Saints. So here we have the Zia fries. I mean, you can look, just the waffle fries themselves are beautiful. And then you've got this ranch topping as well. They got a little mint in there, which is the real secret to this dish, I think. Um, but it combines to make something special like everything else in Emmy Squared. Dig in, Tater. Cool. It's your namesake. <laughs> <laughs> Might be warm. <laughs> For that to be way too hot. Mm. Oh, oh. Can't wait for that to be a gift. This is incredible. Do yourself a favor, come to me squared, get one of each. But whatever you do, start with the Zia fries. <laughs> You're such a classy broad. 
<laughs> what can I say? And occasionally trucks will go by bumping music with like a bed full of sorority girls in it, living their best life. So you might hear that from time to time. I miss those days. <laughs> Your sorority days? Yeah. Bumping around in a wagon with music. Drinking and cherry cokes. <laughs> 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 Those were the days. You're definitely a woo girl, I can tell. Yeah, considering retiring from music and working at Emmy Square. That's uh that's Emmy Square's version of Nashville hot chicken. <laughs> Just think of me like you think of Cher. See, I don't know how to cut it at five though. This is gonna be real. Like, do I? Just do it. Yeah. Let's quarter that thing. All right. And then I'll take a quarter of a quarter. Whatever that's called. Oh, that's a dime. Woo! <laughs> 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 that could be your child. Well, I'm happy to blow it. On the way. So. No, no, I meant the one driving the tractor. It really sums up the whole place for me. You got any home free? I also noticed when I was peeking into the kitchen when I probably shouldn't have been, that it was very lightly seasoned. Like it looked like it was almost just salt and pepper on that meat. Just salt and pepper on the meat. That's how it's done. Just salt Seriously. and pepper. You've got pepper. good enough beef, that's all you need. Yeah. Seriously, I mean, that's that's pretty much the rule, I think. If, if you have good beef, you don't really need a ton of seasoning. I'm learning things. Yeah. Pepper after. Yeah. All right. Oh, did you get that, Tater? Did I get what? Pepper after. <laughs> you yeah, I, get I was staring at the food. Where are you right? He's still punch drunk from these beer fries. <laughs> We're gonna treat the big Ange like yeah. dessert, basically. Right. We've we've now had a zia fries, the uh, Nashville hot katsu sandwich, and uh, and the Big Mac. Which, by the way, just look at that thing. Lightly salted and peppered only. There's some cheese. Uh, the Sammy sauce. Right. Even the pickles. And then that pretzel bun. And that's wizardry, whatever they're doing to that. I keep trying new things here, but then I just want all of them every time. It's like every time I come, I have to get one more thing than I ordered last time. Mm. Pretty well done. And my first rodeo. I feel like it needs to pan out and there's like a playground and there are kids in the background. And <laughs> What? Why? Like a McDonald's commercial. We're at Amy Square and he's recommending grocery store bros and peaches, McDonald's commercials. I can't even fix that. Tyson, Tyson, Tyson teriyaki chicken from the 90s. Right. Maybe you find him. I had a great childhood. A lot of preservatives. We came in, we weren't even hungry, and we still ate multiple sandwiches, a giant order of fries, a pizza, and we'll be getting more to go. Amy Square. Known for pizza, but they've perfected burgers as well. Put the thing down, flip it in reverse it, Jimmy. <laughs> Nashville, Tennessee, you run into superstars everywhere you go. Uh, Mr. Don Gatlin of Savannah Jack, everybody. Hello! And he knows. He knows best burger in town. Yeah, this yeah. is voted two years in a row the best burger in town. We got James Franco serving it to me. I mean, he's not working lately, James Franco. <laughs> this town has all kind of great things happening. It's amazing. <laughs> best bass singer in the entire planet Earth. Wow. In the, in the entire planet Earth. You heard it here first. But... It's so good to Grace, see you, you too. You too. Enjoy your lunch. Stepped our faces at Emmy Squared, and then we all came home and promptly napped for several hours. And now <laughs> we awake just to eat more. Wow. First thing I'm gonna do is just we'll scrape off this top layer of fat and just get rid of that. Unless you want it. No, I'm good. I was gonna save it for a milkshake, but I'm good on that. For It'll just bring all the boys to the yard anyway. Right. Come on! I made a current joke from your generation. Honey, all this stuff you're saying is bananas. B A N A N A S. -A -N -A -S. -A -S. Satch. <laughs> I have to count them though every morning, every night. To make sure Jenica hasn't eaten one. <laughs> he loves sprinkles. Yeah, oh, man. In Pittsburgh, sprinkles are called Jimmy's. Does that mean that my name is Sprinkles?
Just a little bit. Oh, baby. Get out of here. <laughs> oh. oh, good. Oh. Yeah. Tim? What? I swear to God. <laughs> this is obscene. What's the demographic for this, you know? It's you three <laughs> and 12 year old boys. Man. Where I'm gonna get the potato yeah. salad. That's very exciting. I'll teach you how to make that next time. Ready for another meal? Look, uh, you know, there's no way that I'm even hungry, but we're doing this for you guys, okay? I like to mash it up, but then I like to shape it a little bit because it's art, not just food. I believe there's some uh, smoked paprika in here as well, right? Yep. I'm telling you, I put in everything. I can't get enough. Again, can't taste anything since the pepper challenge. Mm. That's juicy. Your turn. Tender. That's and Jimmy. mild. All right, Jimmy. Okay. I'm gonna put down the camera and enjoy one of these. Thank you so much for watching the latest episode of Home Away From Home, and a special thanks to Nanette for your generous support.